So today we're uh, having a look at a fault on a solar panel array, um, burnt out DC isolator. Uh, the client's rang me, he's already been up and had a look and discovered that it's all burnt out. Uh, he was going to do it himself, but he's decided to get someone in to do it. There it is there. Uh, it's on the edge of a two-storey, so I'm going to go and get a harness for this one and just do it safe just in case I get a boot while I'm changing it or something like that. Don't want to be falling off the roof. Right, Eric, so harness on, um, remove the panel here so that I can get to the burnt out isolator. Um, isolators will burn out for a couple of reasons. Um, generally, they can fail internally. Uh, DC voltage is, um, is known for uh, causing a lot of this sort of stuff, unlike AC voltage. Um, they break contact a lot easier so if there is a fault something like this they um they, the fault is the the burning or the arcing is less prone to keep going um, whereas dc is just constant it's always there um it's not going there's no frequency so it's not going up down up down on off on off it's just always on it's really dangerous um this uh, isolator here is a good quality one and the reason it's failed is most likely because it wasn't installed properly. Um, looks like the arcing started at the bottom of the isolator there and it's most likely because it wasn't terminated properly and uh, it's taken a couple of years but eventually it's just failed and burnt. Um, this, this is a big cause of um, fires in Australia and it's not really a fault of the product itself. It, it is usually caused through either water ingress into the isolator, causing a short circuit, um, or like I say, it's not being terminated correctly and um, starts a fire. Uh, luckily, this one stayed within the um, isolator and didn't actually catch fire. It's just been smoldering away there. Um, but one big thing you've got to understand with um, solar is just because you turn this isolating switch off doesn't mean the power's off, the power is still there. Uh, the sun is shining down on the panels there, the power's always there. The only way to truly uh, isolate it is to disconnect one of these MC4s and um, a lot of people don't realise that so when you get a fault you are best to get a solar guy out. Don't try and do it yourself, don't use a handyman, don't use a regular electrician unless they know what they're doing with solar. Um, as an example, if I give this a tap here, it may well arc again, um, just so you can see that it is still alive. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, so that's, that's still alive, but it looks like it's dead, okay? Really important, engage a qualified electrician, preferably a solar guy that knows what they're doing with this sort of stuff. Um, like I said, two story. If I got a boot from that, uh, I'd, my body would react in a way that I can't control, obviously, and I'd potentially fall off the roof and uh, be dead. So yeah, always use a licensed electrician and someone that knows what they're doing when it comes to solar. So I'm gonna isolate this now by unplugging the MC4s to make it safe so I can replace it. And then I'll, I'll show you what we've done once I've replaced it. Righto, so we're off the roof now and I've replaced the isolator up top. Just having a closer look at this now. There's a lot of, a lot of silicon. Um, and having a look at that, I can see that the, it was sitting that way on the roof. And you can see that the burning has started at the lower right hand corner there. So. I can't see any waterline marks in there, but I'm kind of suspicious that this might have been from water ingress. Um, there's a bit of cracking on the cover there, but that could have also been from uh, the heat, because it's in the same area. Well, it's made a mess anyway. It's been quite a barbecue. Luckily, it didn't start a fire. Um, like I said, this is the source of many a rooftop fire in Australia because in Australia we have to use these on the roof 
which many people don't agree with. They are a, a point of weakness and um, yeah, in many people's opinions, not necessary. If this were downstairs, as you can see, there's, there's some more isolators under the inverter there. And uh, if one of those was to have the same problem, then yeah, it can end up a lot worse because the fire starts down here and then can potentially end up in the roof and take the whole house. So, good result with this one. At least it didn't go too far, didn't have a full blown fire. Um, 